Hello guys, welcome back to So That's Gaming and another PS Vita video. It's been a while since we did an update on the PKGJ. As you can tell from the, my screen, it's I'm still on version 0.21. There's been many updates, so before I get started with the installation, I want to go ahead and run through all the changes. I'm not going to specify which changes are for which version. I'm just going to kind of run through them a little bit so that we guys are aware of all the changes that have taken place since uh, 2.1. So, okay. So, well, I'll start with 2.1. So, 2.1 brought us percentage and speed are now shown during download. And when changing the list, the list scrolls back. So, since then, we've had allowed sorting by last modifi modification date. Games are now supported on current firmware are now hidden. Uh, games that aren't supported on your current firmware are hidden. And when a, a list fails to download, there's no more need to exit PKGJ. Uh, it looks like there's a crash fix when pressing X to empty a list. Uh, sorting files by size is now fixed. Download resume feature was restored except when downloading PSP games as an ISO, ISO file. Uh, made a couple more errors more explicit. Let's see. Then uh, fix error messages from previous version. Search feature now works. UX0 patch is created on first update installation if it doesn't exist yet. I'm not exactly sure what that's going to be for. Uh, download package integrity is now correctly checked. Resume data is now diluted automatically when resuming fails. Fix errors. Uh, fix error when unsafe mode is not activated. Fix downloading of games that contain a single file larger than 2 gigabytes. Temporary data is now also deleted when deleting resume data after resume failure. Implemented update of Shell's database when installing an update so that live area doesn't say that an update is available when it is already installed. Now that's actually kind of handy. I have a couple of them where I've installed updates to PKGJ and it still says there's an update and there actually isn't. Uh, let's see here. Um, resume data is now deleted after successful installation to avoid an error when reinstalling. Uh, added support for downloading compatibility packs with a URL underscore compact configuration option. Added support for downloading patches compatibility packs. No changes to the config text. Added app version and required firmware on game update list. That would come in handy. Uh, since I'm staying on 365, it'll, well, I guess it's not supposed to show any... Uh, games that aren't compatible with my firmware anyway, so When updates are installed they now correctly appear as a white bullet Let's see new live area design from Jester iOS hmm. I wonder what that's all about uh, Sort by date option is now correct uh, is now correctly saved to the configuration Added PSM support. Oh, that's actually neat. It hasn't supported that forever. Um, that's for PlayStation Mobile games, so that's kind of neat. Uh, we'll have to check that out. And so the current version is 0 0.34, and what's new in it is a message will appear upon start when a new PKG version, a PKGJ version, is available, unless the no underscore version underscore check one is in the config file. Dialog messages have been re reworked. They include word wrapping for error messages that are too long. That might come handy if you run into a lot of errors, obviously. Let's see. The menus refresh items now refreshes all lists at once, including compatibility packs. That's cool. Instead of having to go through, like, um, Vita games, PSP games, um, DLC, and refreshing them individually, it just refreshes them all at once. That's kind of cool. Uh, quote unquote show updates has been renamed to quote unquote show legacy updates to reflect the fact that they are not the last available version. 
use the live area to install the last version of the game. Okay, so all right. So first thing we gotta do, we're gonna go ahead and exit this, and we're gonna go down and launch our Vita shell so that we can copy some files over. Do 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 do. Let's see. Okay. Nope. And whoops. We're gonna go ahead and put our FTP mode. You can use USB mode. Uh, this is just a little bit more handy for me. So. We're going to go and switch over here to the computer and we're going to reconnect and I'm going to go to UX0. Got my VPK folder down here and let's see. I'm going to delete these two right here since this is an old version. We're going to delete those. Yes, delete those. And these are the new versions. We're going to go ahead and send these over here. Easy peasy. Now, I shouldn't have to make any additional changes since my configuration file should be A-OK. -okay. okay, we're going to back on the Vita here. We're going to go ahead and circle. <clears throat> and I'm going to navigate here to my UX0. And since I sent everything to the VBK folder, we're going to go there and find the PKGJ VBK. And we're going to install that. And yes, to allow extended permissions, per usual. <clears throat> All right, looks like we're done. So we're going to go ahead and exit Vita Shell. And there's PKGJ, and it should say, oh, it's changed the, way, the layout too. Okay, so version 3, 4. Let's see if the UI looks any different. No items. Okay, menu. And we're going to choose refresh. <clears throat> Look at this. Vita games. One of eight. That's so it's, it goes through them one at a time. Oh, there it goes. I, was, I got, thought I got stuck there for a second. Now, if I remember correctly, I, believe, I have the, the original fat version of the Vita. I believe that the Wi-Fi uh, antenna and adapter in the slim model, I, correct me if I'm wrong, look, comment below, let me know, but I think it might be faster. I don't know. All right, so there we go. So I guess we have mobile games now. So I, I'm not seeing, I guess I have to add uh, that to my config text. So let me go ahead and check that out, see if I know where that's at. There we are. All right, let's go ahead and close this. So we, sh we saw that that worked. Let me go back to my Vita shell, and it looks like I might have to go ahead and edit a config text here. We're going to go to my PKGI folder at UX0. That's where the config file is located, as you see right here. Okay, one, two, three, four, we got five. One, one, two, one. Okay, so five lines. Okay, and there's. Huh, okay. So there's a few lines here, so I'm going to go ahead and add these lines, and then I will get back to you. One moment. Okay, so I had one line. I didn't add the compact line because I have to do a little bit more research of that. If you know more about it, you're more than welcome to find a URL for that. But this is uh, this is what I know so far. So uh, I had the URL for PSM for PlayStation Mobile Mobile Games, and there's the website there. And after that, I need to hit exit and we're hit X to save. All right, so let's go ahead and return to our home screen and we're going to relaunch PKGJ. And we're going to see if we can get the PSMs to or to uh, refresh here. There it is, PSM. Let's see here, show PSM. And we're going to go ahead and refresh. I don't know how big the... Uh, 
the PSM games are. Maybe we'll go ahead and take a look as long as we're waiting for this to finish refreshing. And I'm not going to experiment with the resume feature. That's I figured if I want to start downloading something, I'll just leave it alone, let it finish downloading. Now, I do know that uh, um, unless they fix it, I, I didn't see any notes about it, but the it, you can't let your device go to sleep because otherwise the download will fail and it doesn't like to refresh properly or, or something, some crap, I don't know. Um, I usually don't. Every time I see it, damn, I usually just kind of tap it to see where my download it is and see how it's doing. So I haven't experienced that problem, but other people have commented on previous videos that your downloads will fail if you allow your device to like go to sleep. So let me see here. We're on DLCs. It's taking a sweet time, isn't it? Let's fast forward through this. All right. When you go and type your URL, the PSM underscore games, make sure that is capitalized. Uh, the extension doesn't need to be uppercase, but uh, you know, make sure it's all caps. The PSM underscore games. So, all right, we got it. We're all refreshed here. Uh, let's see. We have a Kermit Crab in space kung fu fight. There's not very many mobile games, so let's uh. Let's check out Quiet Please. It's small. Let's go ahead and install that and see what that's all about. Shh. Quiet. Be very, 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 very quiet. <laughs> then you can see the download speed is like wicked, wicked slow. And that's not necessarily from the source. That's actually because the Wi Fi and the PS Vita is like oh, horrible. I wish there was a way I could upgrade it, open it up, and put a different thing in there, but I have to look into that. If I find something, we'll have to do a video about that. All right, so I guess we're installed, so let's go ahead and check out Quiet, please, right quick. Just to... Where is it at? Maybe... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, maybe I need to refresh the live area here. I, you refresh the library by going to uh, Vita Shell. You hit the triangle. And you can refresh the live area right there. So let's go ahead and go and refresh that because I have a lot of content. It might take a little while, but oh, never mind. Zero items refreshed. That's weird. Hmm. I don't see anything that says quiet, please. Okay, well. I'm not quite sure on the PSM. I guess I'm going to have to do some more research on that. But at least PKGJ is updated. And it's got some other new features and resume features and all that stuff. So that's a good. So I guess we'll do some research. And I'll do, some, I'll do a little bit more research. And I'll figure out how to work those PSM games. Because that sounds like it's something that we kind of need. I mean, obviously it has to be able to run. Because they it's a feature to be installed. So Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or comments or praises you want to leave, you can do so in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to click that subscribe button. Get subscribed and keep coming back for more gaming content. And if you want to be part of the notification squad, click that little bell icon and be notified whenever I upload a new video. Until next time, peace.